the next topic that is color image enhancement so earlier we were discussing about enhancements in images that is especially which is correspond to black and white so now we are going to tell how color image is enhanced so first we want to see what is the qualities of a color image and what are the models of there what are the types of color images are there then how enhancements are carried out and next in along with that how human eye is sensitive to color and the purpose and process of color image enhancement so like this in different aspect we are going to discuss about color image enhancement first we can see what is mean by color image so the image that includes color information for each pixel so regarding color image the pixel will have three informations of the primary colors it will have three values in each pixel that is it will use the information of red green and blue all the colors in an image are framed due to the combination of these three colors when we are saying about the types of image model there are five types and we can say five color models are there the first one is rgb model second one is ycbcr model third one hsp model and fourth one cmy model and fifth one cmyk model when say when saying about this rgb model this is for displaying purpose this model is used for displaying purpose whereas a ycbcr model and hsp model is used for analysis purpose that is for analyzing the image and the third cmk model and cmyk model is used for printing purpose so like this various models are there in color images first when we are seeing about rgb model the abbreviation for rgb model is red green and blue so this already told that that is used for displaying this purpose this model is used uh, for framework for displaying purpose so next is c y c b c r model here y is we can say it as luminance y can be referred as luminance and c can be referred as prominence so when we are saying about the y y is the luma component and c b c r are the blue difference and red difference chroma component blue difference and red difference chroma component chroma means here that is color chroma means color so next hsp model when we are saying about hsp model h means hue so s means saturation and b means brightness the characteristics generally used to, to distinguish one color from another so this hsp model is helpful to differentiate one color from other color so when we are saying about hue who can be referred as it as dominant color who can be said as dominant color saturation that is it refers relative to purity saturation it is referred as relative purity and when we are saying about intensity we can say it as brightness intensity can be said as brightness so when we are say, uh, saying about this model this hsp model is used for analyzing the image because in image there are so many colors or colors uh, some colors are there and each colors will be having different properties different intensity different wavelength so with the help of this analyzing the image so next is cmy model so saying about this model this is used for printer it is used in printer 
So here the CMY color, the CMY when we are abbreviating the CMY that is cyan, magenta and yellow. This color is obtained from subtracting from white, subtracting primary color, uh, subtracting white, primary colors from white. We will get when we are subtracting primary colors in white, we will get cyan, magenta and yellow. So, this model we will also call a subtractive color model. So, saying about this, these are RGB cube and CMY cube to represent the primary and secondary colors which correspond to white. So, when seeing about CMYK model, in earlier the printer, in printer there are three colors they are used. When we are seeing about black, it is the combination of all the colors. So, the ink, when we are printing black, the ink, all the color inks are utilized maximally. To overcome that, they use separately black color that we will call it as key. So, this model is an addition of CMY that is CMYK model. This also is created for the purpose of printing. So next we can see human eye sensitivity to color. In a human eye, when we are saying about human eye, rods, cones and rods are there. These are responsible for identifying different colors. These are reasons for, reasons for identifying different colors. So normally when illumination, when light source is not there, normally all the objects are looking black. So uh, when the uh, when the color can be under uh, is can be analyzed, can be uh, uh, visualized. That is when you know, so illumination is there, the object will absorb some sort of energy and reflect other sort other uh, part of part of the. Yeah. From this we can understand. So, uh, this uh, the color of the object from this we can understand from the reflection and absorption when we are calculating uh, we can calculate this we can identify the what will be the color. So, based on this the eye also identifying based on the reflection and absorption of the object it is identifying the object is of which color. So, next when we are say, seeing the sensitivity of different colors, the red having more sensitive, green is less sensitive and uh, compared to red, green is around 33% and blue is 2%. So, this is the sensitivity range of the human eye. So, about uh, color image, next we can see about, about color image enhancement. So, when we are seeing about enhancement, here we will do either improving or changing the color in image. So generally, when we are seeing about what is be the, uh, say enhancement, the purpose of enhancement is to find color details of an image. So improve the color information in an image. Otherwise, to highlight the useful information in an image useful information in image so when we are saying about the process there are two kinds of process one is pseudo color image process and another one is full color image process For example full color image black and white image will be completely we will modify to color whereas pseudo color particular to say example last we are seeing this is the cyclone so to see the different intensities of the white so different colors are given. So from this the information is proper is highly is expressed properly. So this is the way that is pseudo coloring. We will call it as pseudo coloring. So next we want to see is tri stimulus. The uh, when we are seeing about tri stimulus, that is the all the colors are referred with uh, displayed with correspond to three colors that is R, G and B. So these three colors we can say stimulus, three stimulus uh, representing the color image. So this can be X, what is the amount of red, green and blue which can be expressed using chromacity diagram which can be expressed using chromacity diagram. 
So in this uh, image, when we are seeing different models, there is a circumstance we are moving. We need to move from one model to another model. So one model to another model, there is a situation. We'll, uh, there, suppose we are uh, having an image, we need to print. Then we will move from we will display and another thing in, and after that we will uh, print that so when we are displaying we will use, uh, use rgb model when we are printing we will move to cm yk model so or when we are uh, doing any analysis we will move from rgb to hsa model so like this the image will be converted to different models when we are uh, converting from rgb to hsa model we can use this formula to convert from rgb to HSA model. When and again, when we are moving, converting from HSA to RGB model, we can use these formulas to convert from H, the image from HSB, HSA model to RGB model. So, like this, we can move from different models for various reasons and we can come back whenever required using the corresponding formulas. So next when we are seeing about a color image enhancement, uh, how pseudo color image processing carried out, that is the image is converted to grayscale in that the intensity is uh, 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 analyzed, after that based on the industry different colors, if the uh, color here, all the existing color is not uh, expressing properly then they will introduce another color to highlight that. So, this, uh, this way uh, of color transformation also we are doing this, after that we are doing some other process like point based processing, mask based processing, tone and color collection. So, like this different processes we are doing out in image, uh, color image processing. So, so, when we are seeing about exam point of view these things can be asked in, in two more questions so thank you next we can see in the next topic